Matthew Goggin leads by a shot from fellow US Tour players Jeff Ogilvy and Rod Pampling. Overnight leader Jared Lyle bogeyed the 18th but is one of a number who remain in contention. It took Lyle little time to show yesterday's 63 was no flash in the pan. The affable Victorian comfortable with the reality that what golf gives it also takes away. A couple of putts checking out all sides of the cup before dropping, while others just wanted to tease. <laughs> just north of his home patch at Caboolture, Australian Masters champion Pampling made his play for two tournaments in a row. Three birdies on the first five holes took him to a share of the lead. With good reason, Rod Pampling rolls in another one. Goggin began the day with a bogey, but someone good enough to win $2 million in the US this year wasn't going to go away. Straight at it. It's a beautiful shot. Wow. Considered to be one of the best ball strikers in the world, the popular Peter O'Malley showed how he gained that reputation. Difficult hole location. What wow. a shot from Peter O'Malley. He also showed why he hasn't won more regularly. Oh, no. With nine players within four shots of the lead at anybody's tournament tomorrow, the US Tour experience on show as Ogilvy finished his round this way. Is he going to go in the hole for yeah. it does. But it was Tasmanian Goggins' birdie on 18, which will see him sleeping on the lead. Homing in on this pin. Oh. Andrew Slack, Nine News. The second half has just started in the A-League match between Queensland Raw and Central Coast in Gosford. And it's good news for Raw fans, with the visitors 1-0 up. The home side applied the early pressure, but after Liam Reddy's save, it was Sergio Van Dijk who made the contact count. Roar ahead after 10 minutes. What a strike from Van Dyke! Sweet as you like! Ready again, solid in goal as the Mariners tried to equalise early in the second half. Jamie Wincup has wrapped up the V8 Supercar Championship in style, taking out the opening race at Oran Park. It's the last weekend of racing at Sydney's iconic racetrack, leaving behind years of history. On Sydney's southwestern outskirts, Oran Park is about to fall victim to the city's urban sprawl, the circuit to become Oran Park Town, a housing project. Having hosted V8 since 1971, this so-called grand finale was also the last round of this season's supercars. Bathurst winner Jamie Wincup was not content being crowned champion with a minor placing, Wincup winning his first supercar title by taking out race one of Oran Park's last meeting. And he celebrates with a big slide across the line here at Oran Park. In the V8 Utes, a couple of competitors went off-road. Wayne Lamont and Ben Cavage. Cavage exit stage left. Justin Hemmy's got his mini dirty and damaged. It's dug in and gone over. Andrew McKinlay, Nine News. Now to some surfing. That's not for the faint-hearted. With a bunch of the best big wave surfers descending on Half Moon Bay off California to chase nominations for the annual Billabong Big Wave Awards. Known for some of the world's most dangerous surf, this break, called Mavericks, didn't disappoint. Several riders wiping out in the 12 metre waves. Incredibly, the only injury to report was one burst eardrum. And you wouldn't catch me out there amongst that lot, at least that sport. No, me neither, Rupert. Thanks. <laughs>